yesterday is this day. <laughs> it just broke off. <laughs> Hello everyone, today I am going to talk to you about mirrors and this one mirror and this one mirror and this one mirror, yeah. You may ask why I have two different mirrors on my motorbike. Well, the answer is simple because the right hand side fancy mirror just broke off last week when I was riding. Just gone after two and a half year constantly abuse hits from crashes, dropping the bike and bushes hitting you when I forgot to fall them. Many of you asked about this specific mirror, where I can find this, where you can buy this and such stuff and how it works, because I have already two and a half year uh, experience with it. Yeah, it just survived a lot of things. <laughs> so many crashes, so many hits uh, with the branches. When I was riding in the forest, I forgot to fall in. Yes, this mirror is foldable, as you might see in many of my videos. And how to fold it? Simply just grab it and push it on this, and that's it fold. And unfortunately, this is the most how you can fold it in, because as you can see, yeah, it just doesn't fold any way further. The other thing you can do, just fold like this one. You can even talk to it your viewers like this. Yeah, it's blocking the view of the navigation system a little bit, but try it's something, but it's pretty well guarded against the branches like this. But most of the time I was lazy <laughs> to fold it in. You have another option to fold it, which I used uh, in many um, hybrid situations when I was adventure riding like this, when the top is folded in, but otherwise it's folded out. You have a very limited view backwards this way, but still you can uh, keep your eyes back on the traffic, some kind of compromise. Like this, you can see pretty much uh, sideways, but as you can expect, this narrow mirror doesn't let you see much more down and up if you if you just need that kind of peripheral view. Yeah, what else could I say? Here at the joint, it has a plastic cover on the metal, metal thing inside, which is just a really thin metal plate. First, on the other mirror, only the plastic was broken. It was about one year ago or something like this. <laughs> Only the meta hold it um, half year or one and a half year. Yeah, about the round mirror. I used this mirror in the last two weeks. I was riding in the city, in long highways, in the forest, and everywhere. It's very good mirror. <laughs> As view is much better than the fancy one because this one is round, so you have much more surface to look behind you and you can set this mirror much more better than the other one because it has a joint here and also you can rotate this uh, shaft light here and also you can certainly rotate this thing here if you want to. This is a foldable mirror too and voila! Oh my god, this just folds like this. There is a bolt in it if you want it uh, stiffer or more moving. This one has a little bit tick, 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 uh, ratchet, I think, ratchet feeling uh, when you move it. And this one just moves continuously. Just to uh, let you see, this is the difference between the two mirrors. This one just fold like this, this one like this, and yeah, from this mirror you can see pretty nicely all the odometer and the navigation if you have some. Yeah, I think in function this mirror is much much better than this one. Even if you just bend like this, you have much more place here to move your body if it's necessary. 
Yep. So about the price, yeah, this is a little bit more expensive mirror, like the round one, but uh, it looks even much better, <laughs> especially with these handguards from SW Motec. So which mirror should you buy? Well, if you prefer functionality, just buy the round one, because it has much more movement when you want to fold in. This one has much more setting ability. Uh, the long levity I don't know yet because since only two weeks on the motorbike, well, I will let you know when this one breaks too. And if you prefer the fancy look but still able to use it off-road and still able to good, very good, but not as good like this one behind you in the traffic, just to grab this one because, yeah, it looks much cooler. <laughs> and here is the double take mirror. I decided to make a little unboxing video about this because, yeah, this is the most expensive one. As you can see, it's well protected in the box. Yeah, it looks very nice. It bends all the direction if you check it. Yeah, the mirror is very good quality, all indeed. You got in the package all the necessary thread changes and also you get a clamp if, just in case if you don't have the OEM connections. So as you can see these mirrors fold in like charm. Yeah, unfortunately this one has a left thread socket in the OEM brake. Um, and since both of these original mirror threads are right ones, you must use the transformer here which is about, yeah, two, three centimeters high. You can see here is the original one. Here is the extra socket with the conversion thread. So yeah, this one is higher, which is not ideal in my opinion. This is supposed to be a left thread, but yeah, maybe I missed, maybe there is no left thread for this ball joint here. But other than that, it works pretty nicely. As you see in the forest, even when it's open, it's pretty stable. And when it's folded in, yeah, it just disappears. <laughs> it felt like riding on a motocross or an enduro machine. So far, I'm satisfied with these mirrors. Um, maybe this is the best of the three comparing functionality. But yeah, it's 70 euros. And to be honest, I am not sure about the long levity of this one because this uh, extra extension is too long. I feel it a little bit fragile. And these aluminum parts are also not CNC machined. They are just simple cast aluminum. So not sure how long they will live. But for now, I am really happy with this mirror. I will leave this one on the motorbike until it breaks off. And when it breaks off, I will see which one is the best for my future needs. The only issue with this mirror, you cannot fold in with one hand. So when you are riding, you must stop your bike, use your both hands to fold in the mirror. And yes, when you finish the off-road riding, you must stop again and set it back to the road position. Well, it's not a big deal, but when you must change in a day ride a lot of times this one, so yeah, <laughs> you can imagine it. And now let's see the weight of the two middle weight <laughs> mirrors. The double fold mirror is 380 grams. Yeah, it's not very light. As you can see, the simple fold one is 221 grams. Now let's see the two <laughs> record breakers. This one is the lightest one, the round one with 216 grams. And yeah, the Yamaha T7 OEM is 429 grams. Yeah, a real heavyweight champion. And finally, the comparison. There is no wonder the OEM mirror <laughs> at the T7 is, yeah, it's not affordable, it's too chunky. I really would use this street only because when I drop the bike, there is a very huge chance to break it. The design, yeah, its design is original, so no judge on that. The weight, <laughs> it's the heaviest one. Uh, the price is also not the cheapest one. So yeah, I don't like it. 
the fancy fold, you know, this is the one with the uh, edges. This looks very nice. It's much affordable, so very sturdy to use it off-road. I abused it two and a half years, and yeah, even the weak metal core <laughs> hold it up very nicely. And the quality is okay. The design is this techno thing, which I liked very much. Unfortunately, this design limits the view at the corners of the mirror, so up and down visibility is not very good. The way it is, yeah, it's pretty much all right. It's, uh, it's one of the lightest one. The price is also okay. It worked really nicely on the motorbike, so yeah, I liked it. The round fold one, yeah, this is the most useful mirror of all. It's the cheapest one, it's the lightest one. Uh, it's fully foldable. The sturdiness and quality looks all right and also really functional. This is the best for box version of the mirrors. And last but not least, the double fold mirror. Yeah, you can fold it full flat, even you can remove it on the ride if you ride motocross tracks or something like this. The sturdiness, well, <laughs> yeah, I hope so. This will last long because it's uh, really expensive. This is the most expensive one. Although the quality is all right, so we will see it. The design, not the <laughs> most beautiful one. It has really thick uh, holder shafts and you can only fold it with two hands. So yeah, a little bit clumsy. Choose this one if you have a lot of money. And if you want the most versatile mirror, even if you are sacrificing the change time between road and off-road rides. Well, that's it for today about the mirrors. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions or comments, just write below. I will answer for sure. And if you like this video, hopefully see you next time. Ciao!